The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Reprise de l'audience. And the third chamber is now giving the floor to uh, the office of the co-prosecutor uh, to continue uh, his line of questioning for uh, the civil party. The floor is yours, uh, co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Civil Party. Um, before I go to my next subject, I want to briefly go back to something you uh, mentioned this morning. Um, you described how your family had been evacuated to live in Tutung Tene with uh, Tachem, the person you identified as a longtime friend of Krankachan prison chief on. Um, the village you mentioned. Tatung Tene. Is that the same village that is sometimes called Kabal O? And do you know whether that was the village that prison chief On was from? Answer. Kbal O village was a different village, and Totung uh, Tengai village is another village, but the two villages were in Chiang Tong commune. And do you know which village um, Krang Tachan, prison chief On, was from? And do you know which village prison chief On, was from? Answer. I heard Réponse. about that, but I'm not sure uh, where parler, he was from. I heard that he was from Kabal O village. I'm not sure he was Kbal born o. there or his wife's uh, birthplace is there. Si I cannot confirm on this. Fair enough. Um, let me turn uh, to uh, another subject, um, that of interrogations. You uh, testified uh, this morning that prisoners at Krang Tachan were interrogated and tortured. Specifically, uh, you said that they were beaten up and that plastic bags were tied around their faces. Uh, can you tell us uh, in what part of the prison compound uh, was the interrogation room located? Answer. The interrogation room was to the south of the building, and uh, to the south there was a cassava plantation, and after that there was a, a high um, hill, there was a um, building uh, for interrogation right there under Pongoro tree next to the high hill, small high hill. And Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to provide um, to the civil party and to show on the screen a document E3-5830, E3-5830. Uh, this is a map or diagram of the Krang Tachan compound prepared by OCIJ, um, which uh, uh, even though the witness um, witnesses' reading may be limited. Uh, he may be able to. This may help with si some testimony. So, with your leave, I'd like to submit that to the witness at this time, or to the civil party at this time. Donc lui ce document avec votre autorisation. President, uh, co-prosecutor, cool your request is granted.
Now, Mr. Civil Party, while you're uh, looking at that map, um, I want to read to you um, some testimony from your fellow guard and cousin uh, Van Son, uh, who provided this testimony on the 4th of March 2015, uh, E1 slash 271.1 at 10.40.06. Uh, Son gave the following testimony. Question. Was there a kitchen very close by to where prisoners were interrogated? Answer, yes. The kitchen was to the east of the interrogation place. Question, and were the prisoners interrogated in a closed building or were there several sites that would allow you to see what was happening inside? Answer, the wall of the interrogation hut was not covered all with the wall. There was an open space where you can see, end of quote. Now, looking back at that diagram uh, of the Krang de Cheng compound, E3-5830, and if we could put that back up on the screen, um, at the bottom of this map, Tout en bas drawing de la carte, in the middle uh, dessin, is a house schéma, identified as an interrogation house. And to the right of that is a, another Juste building droite, identified as the guard's dining hall. My question for you is, does this diagram uh, accurately show the location of the interrogation room? Uh, and the guard's kitchen that was nearby the interrogation room. De la cuisine qui se trouvait à proximité du lieu d'interrogatoire. Uh, Answer. Yes, uh, you are correct. The location there Réponse. is uh, vous correct. Vous avez raison. L'emplacement que vous dites est le bon. I'm going to read to you now uh, a couple of more passages from some of your fellow guards. In D40 slash 20 at Khmer 00165334, English 00433573, French 00524322, Three, two, two. Uh, your fellow deux, guard deux. Sim, Sim. Uh, was asked about prisoner interrogations and he Doit provided the following statement, quote, from what I could sneak a look at when cooking nearby, I saw them beating and interrogating and researching. Sometimes they put plastic cloths over the faces and beat them as they interrogated. Some prisoners were beaten to death at the interrogation site. And your cousin Van Son on the 4th of March this year referenced E1 slash 271.1 at 10.42.13. He was asked whether he agreed with Sim's statement and whether he also observed the use of plastic bags during interrogations. And he responded, quote, yes, I went into the kitchen three or four times. I witnessed the same as Sim did. Later that same day at 11.13.40, Sohn testified, quote, there was torture during the interrogation because there were clubs, rotten whips, and bamboo clubs. In addition, and most importantly, they would suffocate those prisoners with plastic bags during the interrogation process. End of quote. Now, you yourself testified earlier this morning that during interrogations, prisoners were beaten up and plastic bags tied around their faces. My question for you, is this something that you witnessed when you were in the area of the guard's kitchen? Answer.
Yes, I witnessed the same incident. Um, prisoners were beaten by club and um, plastic seeds were used to cover their face and they tortured to extract their confession. Van Sohn also testified uh, on the 4th of March of this year, E1 271.1 at 10.38.31, that, quote, clubs and whips were kept at the place of interrogation, end of quote. And on the 5th of February, E1 slash 257.1 at 10.11.07. Sai Sen was asked about beatings of prisoners and provided the following statement. Quote, they used bamboo clubs about 70 or 60 centimeters long to beat the prisoners. And there were three or four bamboo clubs in that room. End of quote. Did you see uh, bamboo clubs and whips at the interrogation site? And sir, I saw only whips, uh, but I didn't saw uh, bamboo I didn't see bamboo club. I saw only whips over there. I did not see long bamboo club right there when I was there. Can you tell us uh, who conducted the interrogations of prisoners at Prang Chan during the time you worked there? Answer. The interrogators were three of, there were three of them. Uh, there was An, Ping, and Cheng who did the interrogation. And did those three individuals keep notes of information obtained from prisoners uh, during the interrogations? And sir, I don't know that they took note of the interrogation because I uh, was not uh, up very close to them when they did the interrogation. Let me read to you um, a statement uh, you made in your interview E319.1.23 at answer 108. Question. Did the center staff or the military group ever write down the prisoners' confessions? Answer, the interrogators were the recorders of the confessions. End of quote. And uh, in uh, the book I've mentioned a few times this morning by Meng Tri E, E3 slash 2120, in English 00416391, that book cites you, So Tsang, as the source for the following statement, quote, the enemies that the party arrested were to be imprisoned, starved, deceived, questioned forcibly and bluntly, cursed and tortured in order to get their confessions, end of quote. Do you confirm the accuracy of these two statements that I just read? Et la, et la fiabilité de ce que je viens de vous lire. And, sir, uh, I'm sorry, co-prosecutor, I could not uh, understand very well your question. 
I read to you um, a passage from your uh, interview with OCIJ uh, where you indicated that the interrogators were the recorders of confessions. Let me start with that statement. Do you confirm that that was an accurate statement? And, sir, um, the interrogators would uh, took note of their interrogation, but I was not around up close when they did that. Fair enough, Mr. Civil Party. Let me move to my next subject. Um, document. E3 slash 289, E3 and let me give the, the ERN references, Khmer 010-64-303-307, English 00-168-509-1, and French 010-669-1, through 910. This document records a Democratic Campuchia radio broadcast in July 1977, which announced that the leaders of the Khmer Rouge had given an award to Tramcock District, recognizing it as one of three model districts in all of Democratic Campuchia. My question to you, do you remember ever hearing in 1977 that Tramcock had been recognized as a model district? And so, I did not receive any, any information as regards Trump Cock was a model district, was an advanced district, but I would live uh, without any information uh, to me at all. In your interview, E. 319.1.23 at answers uh, 111 through 112, you made the following statement, quote, I saw the messenger carry Ta'an's letters to the district office, continuing below. I only saw the script on the back of the letter addressed to the district office, but I did not know its contents, end of quote. My question for you is, how often did messengers deliver letters from Crank to Chan to the district office? Answer. I'm not sure how often it was because I was not always there at uh, the place. Do you remember who the messengers were who you saw uh, take the le letters to be delivered from Crank to Chan? Answer. There was only one messenger. There was an office, but later when the uh, soldier wasn't there and another soldier was assigned as a messenger, uh, he was one swan who was assigned as messenger in addition to the existing ones. Uh, thank you, Question. Mr. Civil Party. Remercie, um, I'm going Parti. to turn Je to my uh, last subject, um, 
which concerns uh, executions of prisoners uh, at Krang to Chan. Uh, in your interview E319.1.23, at answers 73 through 74, uh, you gave the following testimony. Question. Do you know if any prisoners were killed? Answer. Yes, they were. Question. Who killed them? Can you tell us the names of the executioners? Answer. The persons who were responsible for executions were the workers there and the people from the district. And in that same interview at answer 76, you stated, I quote, before an execution took place, I had to assign people to guard an area of 300 to 400 meters from the execution site. End of quote. My first question can you tell us uh, where was it that cadres were assigned to stand guard during executions? Answer. At the time of execution, and before that, uh, we were told and assigned to guard outside the compound. And uh, the spot was assigned to each individual for that. So the external um, uh, perimeter was uh, to the south, to the west, and to the east. And when we were guarding outside, the people, Lorsque the staff inside the compound would do the execution. À l'intérieur de l'enceinte, se chargeait de mener à bien les exécutions. In uh, interview D40 slash 20, uh, ERN references Khmer 00165330, English 00433569-570, and French 00524318. Your uh, fellow guard, Sim, uh, provided a similar testimony on the subject, stating, and I quote, whenever prisoners were being killed, they put me on guard outside the Krang Tchan office fence so that no one could approach, end of quote. He also testified uh, that meetings were held at which the prison leaders, Han, Deutsch, Cheng, and Pen, informed your unit, and I quote, Today we have to take prisoners out to kill them, and then they assigned us to guard outside, end of quote. Your cousin, Van Son, in this courtroom on the 4th of March, 2015, Reference E1 271.1 at around 10.46.55 testified as follows. Question, who would call and chair the meetings each time executions were to happen? Answer, it was Ta'an who did that. End of quote. Can you tell us uh, where on the Krang Tachan compound the prison chief held these meetings where assignments were given in relation to executions? Le site de Krang Tachan, dans l'enceinte, où les réunions pendant lesquelles on vous donnait des instructions avaient-elles lieu? Answer. The meeting for that purpose would normally be held Normalement, next to uh, the kitchen, the kitchen hall. Du and just to be clear, are you talking about the prisoner's kitchen or the guard's kitchen? Answer. I'm talking about the guard uh, kitchen hall. Du des 
forte accusation. Uh, Mr. Sotsang, were you Monsieur uh, Sotsang and the other guards obliged to follow whatever, whatever orders you received from prison chief on? Les instructions que vous receviez du chef de la prison on. And, uh, um, the order and the assignment to get outside, all of us had to follow that order. Your fellow guard, Sim, also testified. Question. Uh, this is also in D40-20 at Khmer 00165-334-335, English 00433-573, and French 00524-323-524. Sim uh, stated that during executions, quote, I heard them playing a loudspeaker. They always used, used the prisoner Sen to play the loudspeaker and dig the pits to bury the bodies of those killed, the bodies of the prisoners, end of quote. And Van Son testified here on the 4th of March. E1 slash 271.1 at 11.38.42, quote, they would play music on loudspeakers when they do the killing of the prisoners, end quote. Can you tell us whether loudspeakers were played during executions? Mettez en marche des haut-parleurs pendant les exécutions. President, um, Le civil President, party, please Monsieur hold on. Uh, Mr. Victor, Victor Coppe, uh, you may have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, uh, Coppe, Monsieur you most Le President, likely will uh, overrule my objection, but vous allez très mon this objection. is also leading. Um, Mais he just feeds nous avons là une um, the civil party qui est some information, information from la partie civile. On another lui donne witness in the hope that this uh, civil party will confirm it. Témoin, en espérant que cette partie civile uh, va confirmer I know he's been, the prosecutor has been doing this all morning and, and, and this afternoon, but this is really not the way it should be done. Um, um, we are talking now about uh, the executions. Nous sommes en train maintenant Please let this civil party testify in La answering open questions. Um, it's, 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 it's unbearable to witness, to be honest, uh, Mr. President. C'est insupportable d'être témoin de cela. If I may respond, Mr. President, uh, everyone si in this courtroom um, uh, is allowed uh, to present evidence to witnesses and ask uh, them uh, for their reaction. Council does the exact same thing. De leur um, moreover, leur um, we're getting near the end la of the segment of the case. We've heard uh, testimony from a number segment. of guards Nous and prisoners. Bon it's particularly appropriate at this time donc um, tout à fait to try to put together, étape, uh, wrap together that testimony and get comments uh, from the remaining witnesses. Uh, so I don't think that what I'm doing is any different than what every témoins. other lawyer in this courtroom does from questioning witnesses. Ce que font les Mr. President, présents dans would le you allow me to briefly respond? You might Monsieur recall your own rapidement que je réplique. Uh, ruling when it, comes, when it came to um, uh, the crime side to portray. Once we're entering the uh, the stage that we're talking about uh, actual witnessing crimes, nous we should start with open questions, and then crime, if uh, for some reason the witness or civil party doesn't remember, then si ultimately, of course, he can be confronted. Pas, but this is doing the other way around. It really shouldn't be doing, uh, it should be done uh, like this. Preuves, mais ainsi faut procéder, et pas à l'envers.
But the president. Le président. The objection raised by the answer par la défense is appropriate. That's sustained. Et donc, so uh, the question shall be open first, doivent être d'abord des questions ouvertes. And Dependent, depending on Puis, the response of the civil party, then you may proceed with uh, a similar question. Alors, but uh, in this case, please refresh uh, your question, question and Ainsi, make it an open uh, question. Thank you. Question uh, thank you. I'm happy to proceed. Uh, I will proceed that way, Mr. President. Pas de problème, um, my question, uh, Mr. Civil Party, uh, were there loudspeakers at the Krang to Chang si site? And what were those loudspeakers used for? From the time of my réponse. arrival, I did not see any loudspeakers. Were you aware Question. of? Uh, Prisoners uh, such as Sai Sen uh, being ordered to dig pits and bury the bodies of prisoners. Whatever Sai Sen did, there was uh, his part, and it was not related to me or to my work. You testified in. Answer number 80 of your interview, E319.1.23, uh, these are your words, bodies were buried at the execution site, end of, end of quote. Uh, where was that execution site and who buried the bodies there? The execution site was Réponse. to the south of Le the interrogation uh, location. Au sud du lieu and who was it that was assigned uh, to dig pits and bury the bodies of prisoners who were executed? Les cadavres des prisonniers exécutés. Only the office Réponse. staff uh, were assigned. C'est le bureau du personnel. Le Personnel du bureau, pardon, qui avait cette tâche. And when you say the office staff, Question. can you tell us who you're referring to by that? Personnel du bureau, à qui faites-vous référence précisément? At that office, there were uh, a three-member uh, committee. Et il y avait trois and then there were uh, members of uh, the youth leagues, members of the parties, jeunesse, and members of the call group. Parti, right, to, to follow up on that, Question. let me read to you uh, an excerpt um, from un the statement of your fellow guard, Sim. Uh, Sim he testified uh, that on some occasions uh, his unit was assigned to cover the grave pits of those they had killed. This is at D40 slash 20, uh, same year end pages, Khmer 00165334, English 00433573, and French 00524323. Uh, he was asked how often his unit received that assignment and responded, quote, in some months, two times, and in some months, not at all, sometimes once a month, end of quote. Can you tell us, uh, was Sim's unit uh, one of the units that on occasions was assigned to cover the grave, pit, grave pits of prisoners who had been killed? dans lesquels on avait enterré les cadavres des prisonniers exécutés. Uh, 
I did not involve in the burying réponse. of the uh, Moi, dead bodies as I uh, did not work uh, inside the compound. Je pas travaillé dans l'enceinte. Whose unit was Sim Question. in? À quelle unité Sim appartenait-il? Sim was also a, a soldier like myself, but there were, a, there were uh, several other soldiers working Mais inside the compound. Qui dans My next uh, question for you uh, concerns question. Question um, how the prisoners were executed at Prang Chan. Uh, are you able to tell the court uh, how it is that prisoners were killed at the execution sites? At Grand Chan Center, prisoners were killed with the head of the holes or with a bamboo club. On exécutait les prisonniers avec des bâtons en bambou ou en utilisant des des pioches. And how did you learn or know Question. that prisoners were killed this way? Et comment avez-vous appris que l'on tuait ainsi les prisonniers? I knew about it because uh, on some occasions I saw it, although I did not see it on every vu, occasion. Sometimes I had a, a glimpse at it fois. from a, a distance, and that's uh, why I came loin. to know about this. Voilà comment j'ai su ce qu'il en était. Were these occasions where Question. you were guarding during executions? Était-ce au moment où vous montiez la garde? At uh, that the center, sometimes I was on a guard duty, and sometimes I was assigned to go and find your fish. La garde. Parfois, je devais aller pêcher du poisson. The last. Uh, subject I want to cover with you today uh, concerns uh, the executions of children. Uh, in your interview E319.1.23, uh, at answer 90, you testified, quote, question, did you know of the execution of children or fetuses at Crank to Chan Center? Answer, children were killed. And this morning, you testified and told us uh, that children and babies uh, came to the prison with their parents. Mr. Witness, uh, three of your fellow Crank to Chan guards témoin, have also confirmed that prisoners killed at the site included children, Sim, Little Duke, and your cousin Van Son. My first question for you is how did you know that children were killed at Crank to Chan? Children and young Réponse. babies uh, were killed Des at the Kanta Chan because uh, from my uh, personal, it, it was from my personal observation when the mothers disappeared, the children would also disappear along with the mothers. One of the documents Question. that's in evidence in this case. Dans l'un des documents qui a été versé document au dossier, E3 4093, document E3 4093, uh, at Khmer 002707867 through 87, 
English 00831486, French 00729674, is a letter uh, that was uh, from the Tramcog District Secretary Tassan, uh, which instructed that for children who are too young to be separated from their mothers when the parents were arrested, quote, bring them in for interrogation and after everything is finished, sweep them all clean, uh, end of quote. When he testified, when he testified in this trial, on the 10th of March 2015, E1 274.1, Tassan admitted that he wrote this letter and testified that he did so pursuant to instructions from the sector secretary. You've indicated, testified that children were killed my question for you is, were the guards ordered to kill children by prison chief on, and did he ever talk about instructions he had received from the Tramcock district chief? President Sibopate, please wait, and Councillor Coupe, do you have the floor? Again, Mr. President, extremely leading. He is handing an answer that he wishes to hear on a platter. There is no pre-established notion of this witness knowing anything of this document, knowing anything about the testimony. I mean, from all kinds of perspectives, the answer that the witness is giving to this is totally useless. So I really don't see the point in using this technique of questioning. So I object very, very, very clearly. I disagree. We are allowed in this courtroom to submit evidence to the parties, I mean, to the witnesses and civil parties who appear here. Uh, this is a piece of evidence um, that has been admitted uh, by the uh, author of it. Uh, this witness has already described that he has knowledge uh, of the executions of children. Uh, I'm entitled to use the evidence that's before this chamber uh, to a and ask him questions about that evidence. Uh, there's an obvious question based on this letter as to whether uh, this witness has knowledge of the instructions in this letter being conveyed at the prison. And that's the purpose of describing the letter and asking this question. On record, look, Ray. President, uh, President, Judge Cardiffant uh, is uh, given the floor uh, to provide an uh, ruling on the last question by the co prosecutor which was uh, objected by the defense team. Judge Fence, you have the floor. In this case, the objection is uh, rejected. A foundation was laid. The witness has clarified, oh, sorry, the civil party has clarified he has knowledge about the execution of children. And in this case, confronting him with a statement that deals with this is um, acceptable. Let me repeat my uh, question uh, for you, Mr. Civil Party. My question um, 
where the guards at Krang Chan si had Kran given Chan orders by prison chief on that children were to be executed with the parents and did on ever inform the guards at Krang Tachan uh, of the instructions he had received from the Tramcock district chief on such a subject. I was not aware uh, whether uh, the chief received any instruction from the Tramcourt district chief or whether the guards inside received si the order from the prison chief. I don't know if it was the chief of the prison who did it. The last uh, area that I want to ask you about um, is to uh, read to you uh, testimony that Civil Party Saisan has given about yourself and to give you an opportunity to respond to that. Uh, in this courtroom uh, on the 4th of February, Dans cette chambre, le reference E1 256.1 at 13. 3733, Sai Sen described witnessing the execution of two small children at Krang Tachan, and he stated, quote, there was a small pit to the south of the palm trees. They killed the younger one by smashing against the trunk of the palm tree, and then they brought in the elder sibling and they used a hoe to hit the neck of the back of that child. And of quote. On the next day, the 5th of February, E1 257.1 at 10.40.46 and 11.21.55, uh, Sai Sen stated that you were one of the guards who was involved in or present during the killing of those two small children. My question for you, first of all, uh, are you able uh, to tell the court uh, which guards participated in the executions of children at Krang Tachan? As for the uh, killing of Réponse. the children at Krang Tachan, allow me to clarify. At the Krang Tachan compound, there was no palm tree, not at all. And whatever Soi Sain said, that is his uh, business. Et ce que dit Sun Sen le concerne lui uniquement. Can I ask you, were there palm trees Question. outside the inner compound? Si je vous s'il y avait des palmiers à l'extérieur de l'enceinte. In the prison compound, uh, there was no palm tree. However, far enceinte, from the compound, uh, there were palm de trees. Il y avait effectivement des palmiers. Were you aware of... Question. Uh, palm juice being made for the prison chief and other cadres at the prison. Uh, palm juice was made Réponse, at the villages either through the palm, north or to the south of the uh, prison dans les compound. Villages au nord et au sud de My last question, Mr. Sotsang, um, the killing of children um, must have been a horrific experience at Krang Tachan. Uh, do you remember any of the children at Krang Tachan who were taken away and killed? As I have stated before this court, when the father or the mother was killed, then the children would disappear alone. So presumably the children were also killed. Donc qu étaient 
Uh, thank you for answering my questions La today, Mr. Civil Party. I have no further questions, questions uh, Mr. President. President, uh, Le thank you. Merci. And I'd like to inquire with the uh, judges of the bench if you wish to put uh, any questions si to the civil party. Judge Fence, did you have the floor? I have just a few follow-up questions. Poser questions de the first one is about the loudspeakers à des in at Kram Tacham. You said you didn't see any loudspeakers. Did you ever hear loud music or loud announcements on the premises of Kram Tacham? In réponse. that area, and let me say, if if it happened before I, uh, my arrival, I could not say. Je However, si upon my arrival, I did not uh, hear any music or Après any announcement arrivée, made through a loudspeaker. Music diffused by haut-parleur, ni aucune annonce. Just to ensure that this is not a translation Mais issue. Loudspeaker or not, did you hear any loud announcements or music, no matter where it was coming from? De, très fortement, même s'il n'y avait pas de haut-parleur. There was no uh, loud speaker used Réponse. on the premises. Pas de sur, uh, I'll le, try one last lieu, time. Did you ever Mais hear loud music while you were at Kram Tacham? Forget the loudspeaker at the moment. Par n'importe quel moyen. Oubliez ce que j'ai dit par rapport aux haut-parleurs. I used to see a, a music player that is a, a paper player diffuser de la musique and they used to play uh, some songs songs about uh, peasants uh, of the regime that is the peasants involving uh, in building dams or digging canals it was a small a tape a player, but I uh, cannot recall the brand of that a tape a player. Il y avait de la qui était Where ainsi. was this tape player located? Où se trouvait ce magnétophone? It was a play. Réponse. At the uh, building where the chief uh, resided, and sometimes uh, at where they met under the Pungro tree. There was one tape player or many tape players. Il n'y avait qu'un appareil qui permettait de diffuser de la musique ou il y en avait plusieurs. There was only uh, one tape player in the center. And can you tell me how far you could hear this tape player? Meaning, did you have to be one meter, two meter, ten meter, thirty meter away to hear it? Réponse. From where the tape player uh, was played, and from that is at the uh, kitchen hall, and where the prisoners were detained, the distance was not that far. It was uh, around 30 to 40 meters. And so you do understand you correctly. You could hear the music from the tape player over 30 to 40 meters. Yes, sir, I could hear it. I am now moving away from the loudspeakers to, oh, sorry, from the tape player to the issue of rape because I didn't really understand your answers. Might be an interpretation problem. So I'll try to phrase it simply. My first question. Do you know 
if during the time you were in Kramtachan, any person who has si, been in Kramtacham has been raped there. Des personnes qui s'y trouvaient également ont été violées. No, I never witnessed it. Réponse, non, je, je, je n'en ai jamais été témoin. That probably means you never saw Question. it. Did you ever hear about it? Vu, mais en avez-vous entendu parler? About an parler. incident of rape or sexual assault of any kind? D'une agression sexuelle, quelle qu'elle soit. I heard Réponse. about it. J'en ai entendu parler. And while I was uh, working uh, with him, I asked him about it. In fact, it involved uh, people from the uh, outside unit who were accused of moral misconduct and then who were brought into the center. I don't want to confuse things. Question. So let's go step by step. Somebody told you about a sexual assault. Who vous a parlé told you? Qui? No, uh, not people within uh, the, the compound. No made any a statement to me or told me Personne about any staff who, who committed a moral misconduct or with any prisoner or with uh, anyone outside. What I uh, meant uh, is that uh, those people who were accused of moral misconduct from outside and were arrested and brought to be detained at the center. Uh, a, a question related to this? Question. In case one, generally, in case one person assaulted another one, was only the the person who had committed the assault considered to have done a moral offence or also the victim? Uh, I think we need to put it into uh, through different things. First, you talk about the uh, staff, whether the Il staff there had any moral misconduct d'abord, with prisoners, and I said no, I never saw it. And what's the second pas. thing? You said Question. two different things? Et puis, ensuite, vous dites qu'il faut faire la part des choses. And the second thing Réponse. is that for the male and uh, oui. female les hommes et les youth femmes units who were de outside or who worked at, at the villages or in various other communes and who were accused of committing moral misconduct were arrested and brought to be detained at the Krantachan Center. And let me be clear, I never saw any Krantachan staff who was accused of a moral misconduct. Were there any rules or regulations within Krantachan Dealing with moral misconduct of guards or other stuff? For moral misconduct, the person would be disappeared. It means the person was not absolute with Anka. Regardless whether they were a, a soldier or a, a youth uh, in a youth in a mobile unit or female uh, youth in a mobile unit, they had to be absolute with the party or with the Anka. Just to be clear, but you never saw a case happening in Kramtachan. Bye-bye. 
Yes, that is correct. Um, next exact. subject, um, you mentioned interrogations. The treatment during interrogations, and you said that you actually saw that. Um, can you tell us how often did interrogations take place? Once a day, once a week, once a month? For the interrogation, uh, it uh, varied. Sometimes it was held in the morning, sometimes it was held in the afternoon, and it is very difficult to say. However, I can say that it did not happen on a daily basis. Not on a daily basis. So what, what was the longest time you can remember when there were no interrogations? D'après vos souvenirs, quelle a été la période, la durée de la période la plus longue pendant laquelle il n'y a pas eu d'interrogatoire I cannot recall that. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. La juge Fentz. Did, did you ever, uh, during 75 to 70, beginning of 79, Sinon Chio or Kersan Pan? Avez-vous jamais vu, avez-vous jamais vu, Nyon Chia ou Kersan Pan? During that period, I never saw them in person. I only heard of their names. Thank you, that's all from me. Je vous remercie, ça sera tout. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. J'aurai également Thank you, quelques President. questions à vous poser, Monsieur. I also have a few Ce matin, vous nous avez expliqué qu'au moment où vous avez rejoint l'armée, on vous a tout d'abord envoyé travailler sur les lieux d'un barrage. Il s'agissait du barrage de Kork-Trabek, si j'ai bien compris. Est-ce que vous nous dire combien de temps vous êtes resté travailler sur ce barrage et euh, combien de personnes travaillaient sur ce site et à quel moment ça se situait exactement Ten of thousands workers were sent from the districts, many districts of the province, to that work site. J'ai entendu des dizaines de milliers de travailleurs. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris, ou est-ce que vous voulez dire des dizaines de travailleurs Et quelles étaient les conditions de travail sur ce site And what were the working conditions on that site? Answer. There were people working at Kpop Trabak work site, but I forget the year when I was working there. There were uh, people from male and female unit, and there were tens of thousands of them who were working there. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez si, au moment de la construction de ce barrage, il y avait des bombardements et notamment des bombardements bombings, euh, américains. Specifically, American bombings. Answer. At that time, I heard from people and I heard uh, the sound of bombardment and there were other dam work sites and I was assigned from one place to one work site and then other group of people were sent to that work site. I was transferred to another work site for one month 
And we did that following the plan from the upper echelon, for example. Uh, the youth unit would spend one month uh, at one work site and then uh, replace to another one, and then in other units, other units will come, and so on. Est-ce que vous souvenez si des dirigeants sont Do venus pour inaugurer les euh, travaux qui avaient été réalisés, les ouvrages réalisés I was working there, but I did not spend until the completion of the work site. We were prepared and ready uh, to send to the front line of the battlefield, and later we were sent to uh, the battlefield. Et vous savez combien de temps duraient ces travaux C'était quelques you know semaines C'était uh, plusieurs mois Est-ce que vous avez une idée a few weeks or several months. Do you have an idea as to how long the works went on? And sir, I don't remember the date because as far as I told you earlier, I do not recall the year or months um, when the dam works I was started, but I joined in the construction and later I was sent uh, to the battlefield as a uh, soldier. Et quelles étaient les conditions de travail sur ce site Ce site, est-ce qu'il se situait dans le district de Tramcac ou pas C'était dans le district de Tramcac C'était près d'une coopérative Où est-ce que c'était exactement Tramcac district Was it close to a cooperative Or where was it exactly Answer. The dam work site uh, was in uh, Kpop Trabek. It, it was in Osarai commune, Tramkak district of Takeo province. Et quelles étaient les conditions de travail sur place Est-ce que les gens avaient de quoi se loger Est-ce qu'ils avaient suffisamment à manger Est-ce qu'il y avait une discipline sévère que, que, Comment ça se passait at that dam work site, people were site, assigned to work in a group, barrage, les gens and um, à des I was assigned to, to dig uh, the soil and the, uh, the ground to build the foundation for the bridge, and we were assigned to complete one um, foundation uh, within three days. So if anyone who could not uh, complete, we will si be uh, fine. Living condition was uh, not sufficient, was uh, miserable. And when we hear a sound of uh, the airplane, the bomber, we should uh, flat and hide ourselves in the jungle. This is uh, what we did. Selon vous, il y a plusieurs personnes qui sont mortes sur ce site de travail did many people Est-ce qu'il y a des gens qui sont morts parce qu'ils n'ont pas eu assez à manger ou parce qu'ils ont dû trop travailler Je ne sais pas si je réponds à Work site. Sur le site de travail de Kpop Trabek, I did not witness anyone who died of uh, starvation, de faim. but in my youth unit, dans mon unité des uh, jeunes, no one died or had any problem, but um, I don't know what happened when I left um, to the battlefield. par la suite lorsque je suis parti sur le front. 
Monsieur le Président, j'ai encore quelques questions. Je ne sais pas si le moment est opportun pour faire une pause ou si je dois de continuer à poser mes questions. Je pense que j'en ai peut-être encore pour 10 minutes. Monsieur President, Judge Lawain, you may proceed and to complete your line of questioning. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank vous you, aviez Mr. quel âge, Monsieur, quand vous avez été envoyé travailler sur ce site you, de sir, travail when you were sent to work on that work site. Quand vous étiez au barrage de Banque Trabec, that de when you Cork, Trabec, Cork Trabec, vous aviez quel âge Dam work site. How old were you then And so, in that year, I do not remember how old I was. Uh, in 1970, before the coup d'état, I uh, became a monk. I was then 15 years old, so I cannot tell you Uh, my exact Ainsi, date, but I think I was about uh, 10 years or more at that time. On va avancer dans le temps et uh, on va parler de la rééducation. Vous nous avez dit ce matin que quand vous étiez dans la montagne à la recherche de uh, Kulsan, vous avez été sanctionné et vous avez dû subir une, des séances ou une séance de rééducation. En quoi consistait cette rééducation Est-ce que la rééducation a duré une après-midi ou est-ce qu'elle a duré plus qu'une après-midi When I was sent for that uh, re-education as a result of um, loss, losing my uh, rifle, it was done only one afternoon because it was in it was done in uh, the same military unit but i was sent to uh, the district jews unit outside of uh, my military unit because i was accused of um, giving uh, my rifle to the group of prum san and i Uh, got a malaria at the mountainous, mountainous area, so I uh, kept my rifle with uh, my group member and later my rifle was stolen and then I received that accusation and uh, experienced a re-education for that. J'ai bien compris tout cela, monsieur, mais en quoi consistait la rééducation Qu'est-ce qu'on vous disait Avez-vous subi des sanctions Est-ce que c'était des sanctions corporelles Est-ce que vous avez été battu Est-ce que vous avez été interrogé Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé pendant cet après-midi de rééducation And so I was not punished. Um, I was interrogated. They asked me many questions, and uh, he told me that I betrayed the revolution, and I was warned that. Uh, from now on, I should be very faithful to the party, otherwise I will be shot to death. And then I was staying with my unit all the way until I was sent to Krang Tachan Center. Bien, j'ai compris ensuite que vous aviez été amené à participer à des travaux agricoles, notamment du repiquage de riz ou des travaux de moisson. J'ai compris aussi ce matin que vous aviez dû rencontrer un responsable de l'armée avant d'aller à Krang Tanchan. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Est-ce que vous avez effectivement rencontré quelqu'un de vos supérieurs militaires avant d'aller à Krang Tanchan One of your military superiors before you went to Krang Tanchan. I was transferred to Krang Tachan. Uh, the sick 
people in my group. Some of them mm. went earlier, and I was the one who came later because I was sent to um, re-educate for a re-education at Wat Chat Chrum before sending to the center. It was during the uh, rainy season. Um, people were uh, assigned to transplant Kromun saw a rice paddy. It was the, the good quality rice, the, the number one quality rice for Anka, and I was assigned to do transplanting for rice at Krang uh, all the way uh, when I was uh, arrived for the first time. Avant d'arriver là-bas, avez-vous rencontré Before un supérieur there, qui vous a donné des instructions particulières Ce matin, j'ai entendu que vous aviez dit avoir rencontré un cadre de l'armée qui vous avait dit qu'il fallait désormais être loyal, qu'il fallait faire un sacrifice pour la révolution. Est-ce que ce sont des choses qui vous ont été dites et si oui, qu'est-ce que cela voulait dire the kind of instructions you received and who gave you the instructions? When I left uh, Wat Chak Chrum, Pagoda, and I went to a, an office, I met a person at, uh, at Chantia village. Uh, he was a commander. Uh, who assigned or who ordered me to arrest uh, Prum San and he told me Prum to be faithful to the revolution and be, be cautious and not to betray the revolution and you should be honest to Anka and from today onward uh, you should go and work at Krang Tachan and then I Uh, went along with other people to Krang Tachan. Est-ce que quand vous avez entendu ces instructions, vous, aviez, vous avez compris qu'il n'était pas possible pour vous de refuser d'obéir à des instructions qui vous seront données sur place Answer. When I arrived at the place, I was thinking that, um, and I uh, think of uh, leaving Krang Techan, but I was trying in difficulty uh, to stay and work there until 1977. And then I met an old person who, uh, who was my friend with my father, and he was a, uh, a, one of the teachers who know Ta'an. And he told me that, that you should follow my advice, otherwise you should be killed. And I asked him, uh, how should I do? Uh, grandfather, and he said that uh, you should up, uh, request for a marriage, and after your marriage, you can request to live in the cooperative, and I follow his advice to request for a marriage, but I was still there at Krang Tachan, but uh, then the Vietnamese troop uh, fighting forward uh, Cambodia, and Before that, I uh, was assigned to work in the uh, soldier, and accidentally, I was not engaged in the fighting uh, with Vien Vietnamese troops, but uh, we fled to Sarai Ang Krong, the Nak Sadak, um, next to uh, the Thai border, and then I fled the battlefield and I returned to my home village. Nom de village que l'interprète n'a pas saisi, puis je suis revenu dans mon village. Donc, si je comprends bien ce que vous nous dites, so vous nous dites que, suivant les conseils du grand-père Chen, 
vous deviez obéir à tous les ordres qui vous seraient donnés Est-ce que c'est ça ce que voulait dire le grand-père Chen And so, I had to follow the order of the com commanders. Any order, we cannot um, disobey at all. Est-ce qu'à un moment quelconque, monsieur, vous avez reçu un ordre d'exécuter des prisonniers? An order to execute prisoners, sir. And, sir, I never receive any order to execute a person. All orders I received was to guard outside of the um, compound. That, that was the, the only order that I followed. When you were at Krangtan Chan, avez-vous vu, avez-vous entendu? des cris de prisonniers. Et si oui, pourquoi les prisonniers criaient-ils Et si oui, pourquoi étaient les prisonniers criaient The screaming or the cries from the prisoners, I heard Uh, when they were interrogated and they uh, suffer from torture or beating during interrogation, I would hear screamings. Il y a une chose que je n'ai pas très bien compris. Est-ce que oui ou non, vous avez été nommé chef des gardes de l'unité des gardes? Chief of the guard unit, answer by a yes or a no. Answer. Réponse. I had never been a chief of any office. The office was um, assigned chief uh, only those who were member of the youth league of the CPK. Donc vous n'avez jamais eu rang de supérieur par rapport so à quiconque des autres gardes à Krantachan. Answer. No, I was not the chief of uh, Krang Te Chan. I was only a guard who would guard um, outside of the compound at Krang Te Chan. Qui était responsable des gardes qui montaient la garde à l'extérieur de Krang Te Chan? Of the guards who mounted guard outside of the Krantachan premises. Um, the six of us were guards, and no one was assigned as the chief. Avez-vous vu des membres du bureau du district venir visiter Krantachan? Et si oui, Who exactly did you see? Answer. The visits by the leader, I don't remember any visits because I was uh, uh, just uh, guarding outside, but I saw only Ruth and Kuhn who would visit uh, the center. Est-ce que vous avez vu ou est-ce que vous avez entendu parler d'un homme qui s'appelait Pi et qui était handicapé d'une jambe Who was handicapped. He was lame. Answer. The Pi, uh, the lame person, 
I uh, met him a long time before at Krang Tachan, but when I was at Krang Tachan, I didn't see him uh, over there. Est-ce que vous avez vu ou est-ce que vous avez entendu parler d'une un, euh, personne qui s'appelait Dame et qui a été emprisonnée pour inconduite morale Imprisoned for misconduct. Moral misconduct. And sir, talk, uh, talking about that dam, he was there at the center a long time ago, uh, since the creation of that uh, center. But he had uh, a problem, and he was sent away for a while, and later he committed moral misconduct outside, and he was arrested and sent back to Krang Tachan. Donc quand il est revenu à Krang Tachan, il était so prisonnier. When he was il n'était plus, plus partie du personnel. C'est bien ça. Was a prisoner and not a member of the staff of Krang Tachan. Is that what you're saying? Answer. He used to be a staff at that center, and later, I don't know what uh, mistake he made, but he was uh, sent out, and he uh, committed a moral dis uh, misconduct outside, and he was arrested and sent to Krang Tachan as a prisoner. Selon vous, quand vous... According to you, while you were at Grand Chachan, how many pits were used for burying bodies? And to your knowledge, how many people were buried in those pits? I do not know whether you can hear my questions. And so uh, the victims who died at Krang Tachan, I don't know the exact number of uh, them, um, but I'm sure they were uh, ending up their life over there. Ma dernière question, monsieur. This is my last question to you, sir. L'expérience que vous avez vécue à Krang Tachan doit certainement être une expérience traumatisante. Qu'est-ce qui a été pour vous must have been le very plus traumatisant What, to the best of de votre expérience comme gardien à Krang Tachan Qu'est-ce qui vous a traumatisé si quelque chose a traumatisé vous avez eu comme gardien à Krang Tachan, si à tout something was traumatizing to you. The trauma as a, as a consequence of my work at Krang Te Chan, it was serious for me, um, especially my father and my uh, relatives who was uh, taken for execution. It is beyond, beyond my belief that uh, the Khmer people could kill uh, Cambodians uh, as a, a race. Thank you, sir. I have no further questions for you. President, it is now appropriate time for a uh, recess, and uh, the court will uh, take recess until uh, 3 o'clock, 20 minutes. And uh, court officer, please coordinate um, civil party uh, during the court recess and um, uh, have him and uh, Mr. Samnang uh, back in the courtroom at uh, 3 and 20 minutes. The court is now in recess.